A proposal that might not be toasted by someone who enjoy a beer or glass of wine after work in Boston. A 2% surcharge on all alcohol sold or served in the city. The idea is to raise 20 million bucks that can be funneled back into addiction programs, both for alcohol and drugs. This would be on top of the excise uh, taxes the state already collects on alcohol. So is an earmarked tax increase a good idea for a good cause or bad for pocketbooks and for businesses? Joining me are Jack Kelly. He's a public health advisor to the city council. And Bob Luz, that's how you pronounce your last name, right. I want to be clear here, president of the Massachusetts Restaurant Association. Good to see you both. So, Jack, let me understand the status of this thing. Councilors Baker and Linehan are the primary proponents of this deal, right? Correct. Uh, does it have majority city council support? Not right now, but we're working on that, and we're educating the city council and, and the public about what actually goes into this proposal. And that was the key before why there was some negative reaction to it before. Like last year when you Correct. talked about it. So yeah. just to be clear, if there was a vote today, would it be voted down or are you just not sure how we're it would We're not go? sure. And where's Mayor Walsh on this thing? Obviously he cares a lot about addiction issues. He He's does. He's pretty upfront you know, about his own issues. Yeah, we've talked to the mayor. I mean, we haven't got a commitment that he would sign it, yay or nay, but I think he's open and he wants to see the public dialogue around it. And him. just so people are clear, this would be a home rule petition, so even, yes. if the even if the city council approved this, the legislature have to approve for it to become law Correct. for Boston. Correct. What's your problem with this, Bob? Uh, uh, first of all, noble, uh, noble cause, no, no question about That's it. That's an opening that suggests there's just, not a good Just ending. the wrong avenue. To, Why is it the wrong go. avenue? It'd be the fifth tax on liquor. You have uh, federal excise tax, city excise, uh, uh, state excise, uh, meals tax for the state, local option meals tax, yeah. and now this would be a fifth tax. It's just the not wrong venue to go to fund an illegal, you know, something to fight illegal drugs, which really, with a legal cause, which well, is It's not alcohol. to fight illegal drugs, it's to help people so to, who have addiction to, fight, to I'm sorry, drugs. To, to help correct, yeah, So is, let me just ask, what's your favorite drink? Uh, mine? Yeah. So it was on the rocks. Okay, how much is that, 15 bucks? Uh, no, $10. Okay, so that's 20 cents. Mm -hmm. uh, if so, if his proposal and Councilors Lenahan and Baker's proposal yep. were to become law, you'd pay $10.20 for your doers. That extra 20 cents is gonna be bad for you it's or bad for, for, the, it's for bad, the business? It's bad for everybody because first of all, uh, don't forget the city already gets a local option meals tax that is not earmarked for anything. So right now that's 140 million. that too? No, we, we were actually behind that. We, okay. we were okay with that. It, it was it, that's 140 million dollars that the city's gotten over the last five years that can go anywhere. So if they need funding for it, they have an avenue to, to grab How it. How about that, Jack? Why not take the 20 million out of the 140 and give it to some? I mean, by the way, you have personal experience. With I do. This. You're a heroin user, so yep. obviously you know what you're talking about. Uh, 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 why not use part of the money that's already there? Well, I mean, that, uh, people always bring up, well, why don't we just use this, or why don't we yeah. shift resources from one department and put it yeah. over here? Okay, well, let's try to do that, and we're going to get a pushback on everything that we do. If you try to take something from someone, there's always going to be a fight. But there's it. a question, but what city, what elected officials are supposed to do is prioritize what matters most to them, right? You've got to decide, does a park matter? Does a helping an addict matter? Does a school matter? I mean, isn't that what Absolutely. you essentially do but, for a but, living? It's true, but one of the things with this particular issue, because it's become such a crisis, not just with opiates, but with alcohol and all drugs, that we need to find additional revenue to pay for. We can't just take and try to have the status quo with it. It's not going to be efficient. Realistically, the legislature, I never understood this. My attitude has always been if local officials who are duly elected say X, the legislature should just say, fine, if this is what you want to do for your own community, fine. That's not what they do on taxes. For the most part, my recollection of recent history has been, I don't care if it's 13 nothing at the city council, the likelihood is this the state is going to say no. So if the addiction issue is so important to at least the councilors with whom you're working and we know to the mayor, What's plan B here? If well, he gets his way and the legislature doesn't sign on? Well, we have to keep, I think, keep pushing the envelope. And I think that at the, at the very least what this conversation does, it talks about revenue for this particular issue, which with all the great efforts that are happening, nobody's actually talking about paying for any of this. You know, it, while your concern is I know the businesses and that's your constituency, what I read in a, a piece in the Globe about this is while the sales tax on alcohol that was proposed, I think, in 2009 was voted down by the people in 2010, the subset of that electorate mm -hmm. in Boston voted two to one to keep the sales tax. So the people have pretty much spoken, at least Bostonians, who are the ones who are gonna be paying that extra 20 well, cents on the doers, right? Don't, don't forget that was before local options meals tax came into play as well. So they've already, they're already paying now 0.75. So how about this as a compromise? I don't know if they're willing to do this. Let's assume this was put before the voters. If the people of Boston got to direct this, the vote on this question now, post the three-quarter of a percent on the meals tax, mm -hmm. and they said by whatever margin, yeah, 
we want to be taxed because we care, as, even though we don't want to pay extra money, we care so much about the, what that $20 million is going to. Would you then say fine? No, I don't think so. Because, again, this has been taxed five times, if that's well, the case. Well, who cares if it's taxed ten times? I mean, well, I, if I, think it's affordable, the, I think the public does. I think the public no, does. No, but if the public, I just said, if the public says, yes, I'm willing to be taxed for whatever you said was yeah. the fifth time. I think it also, do it? it also sets a bad precedent. This is a... This is a, pro a comprehensive problem that needs a comprehensive uh, answer, and that's going to come from the state. And as we know, Governor Baker has done an awful lot and is continuing to do an awful lot towards that end. This is not something we need every city and town carving out and saying, we're going to do it here and we're going to do it here. Two last things. One, would you support a referendum on this, a, a vote in the city? And we're let open the voters to it. Decide? Yeah. You're open to it? Absolutely. Secondly, uh, final point about what Bob said, $110 million, I think, on this from the, the governor. I mean, why not be going to the state and say it's not just Boston that's a problem, New Bedford, Fall River, the North Shore, the South Shore, solve it on the state level and let part of that money come to Boston? Well, it's a good question. First off, I, I personally and Council Linnan personally supported the governor's legislation. Yeah. I was actually there sitting behind him and also the Attorney General Mar Mara Haley's done Why not say it's not that. enough? It's just, it's just not enough. It's, uh, and, and, and that's let it. them solve the problem. Well, the problem is, is that the city of Boston, we take an un, an un, a huge amount of people that are from all over the parts of the state, and we're not getting enough money Got back it. to service those people. Stay in touch with us, Jack. Thank you. Thanks Appreciate very it. much. Good to see you, Bob. Good to oh, see you yet again. Too.